affectionately referred to as PVD by fans the world over, German-born Paul van Dyck has been in the forefront of the dance music scene in a career that spans more than two decades. Espresso caught up with him in the mother city. I've been in South Africa several times already. I think if uh, I'm, I'm counting correctly, this is your seventh visit. What keeps bringing you back to South Africa? Well, first of all, it's a great country, so it's a good place to visit. And, uh, you know, the audience, basically, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's always a lot of fun to play here and it's really exciting. Now, growing up uh, in East Germany, you didn't have a chance to always get exposed to all the latest music. But you, you guys did it secretly. You were borrowing mixtapes from friends. How did that uh, mold your music? We couldn't really listen to, you know, like, you know proper radio stations in, in East Berlin, so we secretly listened to the West Berlin radio stations. And uh, when the war went down, I, you know, I went to all the clubs and became the biggest fan of electronic music there is. And, uh, you know, everything else happened. Paul's also known for his anti-drug stance and his personal club rituals involve coffee and tomato juice. You're also very outspoken about politics and very anti-drugs. Is that something you're still passionate about? Well, the thing is, it's like, you know, um, about anti-drugs, it's more the fact that, you know, I explained, it's like I was listening to the radio. This is how I learned about this music. So I was like far away from, you know, taking any substances or, or anything. So like for me, it was the pure music. And I'm not telling anybody what they should do. Uh, I'm just saying it's like this music is so powerful and it's full of energy and excitement. You should really try without anything because this is the pure stuff. And uh, so that's the thing. And in terms of politics um, as well, I grew up in a dictatorship. You know, it's like the communists actually it's like ruled that country, East Germany, in a very bad way. So it's like I know, um, you know, what democracy means and how, uh, you know, much I worship democracy. And democracy isn't perfect, you know. It's only as good as people are getting involved. And this is what I'm doing. And going forward, where to next? The album is coming out in March. I'm uh, really looking forward to finally have the beast loose. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, you know, touring all over the world, going to America next, and uh, but it's all exciting. Evolution is scheduled for release in March 2012. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.